Welcome back to Studs Up. I am Studs, and today we're taking a look at the Lego Hidden Side Paranormal Intercept Bus 3000, set number 70423. Uh, this retails for um, uh, about $60 in the United States, and I was able to pick this up for $41 on clearance. So that is awesome. This set has 689 pieces. All right, let's take a look at the side builds. All righty then, for the included side builds, you have two pylons here. You have this little um, kind of men working sign. So that looks pretty good. This is built up of, and uh, you'll see why it's built that way in a sec here. And then we have a porta potty, which door can open and on the inside you have a nice uh, toilet there uh, the main kind of point of this here is this is the uh, kind of the spooky aspect of the set so to spookify it what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna take this here you're gonna take the pylon and put the pylon on here like that you're gonna put the pylon on here like that so like just like that you're gonna take that and you're gonna put it on the bottom of the porta potty like that. You're gonna stand the porta potty up. You're then gonna lift up the eyes, open the door, and there's a, a gray piece here that you can push down and then kind of pull it down there. And you have a super evil porta potty which shoots poop. Yeah, you heard it right. This here is the disc kind of launchers. And so if we, I'll demonstrate that here. It launches poop discs, comes with uh, two of these are included in the set. And it's supposed to be porta potty sewage. So that's great. Uh, it's kind of a fun feature, um, really fun for play. It's kind of a spooky, you know, porta potty monster, but also, you know, you tuck all this stuff away, push that up. You pull those out, you pull those out, and you're left with some construction equipment. I think that's awesome, and I think it's a pretty cool feature of the set. Alrighty then, let's take a look at the main build. What you're mainly paying for here, and what you probably came here to watch, is the bus. This is a super cool, awesome, big bus. Um, let's get a minifig in here for comparison. We have uh, Jack here. And compared to a minifigure, it's pretty dang big. Let's be realistic here, that is a pretty big set. Um, I definitely think it's worth that $60 price point here, but let's take a look at the details. Uh, so on this side here, you're gonna be able to pull this down and you have a cannon. And you also can pull a panel on the other side down here to review two cannons on either side. Um, on the inside, there there is now, yeah, this goes right through. You can just close those back up there. And that works really well. Um, on the top of the set, we have another rotating turret here with a seat for a minifigure with a little joystick lever there for them to um, operate it with. Um, this is actually something that would, I'm assuming, interacts with the app. You can go on the back and you can twist that. And it rotates between those two colors. Um, same with the radar dish back here. Uh, those colors that you're seeing right there interact with the app to my knowledge. So, on the other side here, on this side here, we have a ladder for the minifigures to climb up on the roof. So pretty good. I love the uh, nice big rims around the tires. That really makes it look off-road and beefy and I think it looks really good. On the front of the bus here, uh, we actually get a lot of nice detail. We have some grill pieces. We have some big old grill pieces in front of it there. Uh, we then have some very nice light pieces all around here. We have a stickered license plate, two stud shooters, uh, and a unicorn horn, and along with a um, massive turbo engine, some rear view mirrors there, which I have found are a little flimsy and are probably going to like, break off if played really hard, which is not a big deal. You know, it is just kind of extra added detail there for you. Uh, there is a sticker there, and there, those are both stickers. On the top here, that is a print, and that is also a print. Those are the same print. 
Uh, the stud shooters here work just like so, where you can uh, push down on that uh, gray piece there and fire off a stud. And you can do that to both of them. And they go everywhere and basically get lost forever. But they're a uh, still a fun feature for uh, for play and for uh, younger kids. The um, this side of the set has a um, a door which opens and closes, um, which is. Uh, very nice because if you ever wanted to uh, transfer this into a bus for your Lego City, which is very doable, you can, and that that stays there. This uh, cab is easily removable there. Um, on the inside there, we're gonna see there is a seat, a steering wheel, a little console there, and a joystick, plus a lot of room to place another minifigure. So that's very nice. Also, there's some windows to look into the rear of the uh, bus. Um, the side windows on the bus all open, but are not openable from the outside. You actually have to, uh, the main feature of this set, of course, uh, if you didn't know this is back here, you can kind of grab, grab this part here and then you just pull that out. And then that is the interior back of the bus. And so if you wanted to open the windows, you could just by pressing in like that but that's the inside of the bus there we also have these big old exhaust pipes on the back here which look really good in my opinion the inside of the set is pretty simple um uh there is a little soda pop there is a bed which stretches across there we have a microscope two chairs two stickered computer screens, a printed uh, one by two kind of keyboard piece, and a nice little mouse there, which I, I like that. Uh, we have a laptop here, which is included. If you don't know how these work, these are little laptops that shut. And there is a sticker on that, which you apply during the build process. That isn't already pre-applied at the factory. Um, and that's just kind of the internals of the uh, the bus there so once again a lot of room for figures and then once again to slot it in you just take it and you just push it in and you should hear kind of a click sound and it clicks into place that's the main bulk of the build for the bus um i really do like this set i think it's a very very nice build of a, a bus set very very completed build for uh a set like this and if you did want to convert it into a normal city bus it would be difficult but this is a great place to start um even just taking the pieces and the stickers from this and converting it into a uh a school bus i think that would uh work very well and uh end up you would i think you would really end up liking it all righty then let's take a look at the figs the first figure we're going to take a look at here is uh jb uh jb comes in a multitude of the other sets um but she's a very nice figure to get here Some very nice rear torso printing. No rear leg printing. Let's take a look at the gun that she comes with, or the blaster thing. So that is it. That has a very nice kind of sparkly cone piece in the front here. She also has her phone print there on the Overwatch blaster that came kind of first introduced to the Overwatch wave. This gets us a better look at her torso print there. She has a kind of a Frankenstein print on her torso there, along with some nice leg printing. And uh, yeah, it looks very good. Uh, her hair print has uh, some goggles um, kind of molded into it there. Um, and if we take that off here, uh, that'll get you. It is dual molded. And uh, yeah, that looks, it's a very nice hair piece to get. And that'll get you a better look at her faces. She does have an alternate expression here, which is kind of more of a uh, 
maybe busy face or she's chewing something. I don't know, but uh, a useful face nonetheless. I think she's a really good figure to get in this set. And uh, yeah, a very good figure, well-rounded. All right, on to the next fig. The next figure in the set goes by the name of Worker Bill. And uh, he is actually one of the ghoulified uh, figures in the set here. Um, and I'll show you that in a sec here. But I really do like this figure. He has a very nice, he's a construction worker. He has the hard hat piece that Lego's been using for a long time there. I'll just pull it off so you can get a better look at that there. There we go. I think that, that looks very good. we uh bring the torso around here you'll see he has some very nice uh printing there that we'll uh, we'll see better when he takes the beard off uh some very nice jean printing there uh when we come around the rear here we will see he does have some rear torso printing there which does look very good and i do really like i think that turns out uh, it's a very good torso printing and i do I do really like that torso printing there. This is these are, these figures are very well rounded in the set. Let's remove the figure's beard here. The head of this figure is nothing new. Um, it's just kind of one of the worker heads here that we've been getting from Lego for for a while now, and it has no rear rear head printing here. The beard piece included is a rubberized element here, which just slides over the neck there. and looks, looks very good for what it is. You actually get two of these in the set, so you can put them on other figures in your city if you would like. The torso print is very nice, and he has kind of like he's wearing the jacket over his kind of uh, our everyday wear clothes, and I, I do really like how that's, how that's integrated, and I think this is a really nice... Uh, torso print for this figure. Uh, this is exclusive to this figure, to my knowledge. All right, let's take a look at him uh, in his ghoulified mode. His uh, ghoulified mode is uh, quite simple to activate. He's included in the set. You uh, get some accessories here, which are the ghoulified elements here. So all you really have to do is then uh, you're going to slide this crazy beard on. You are going to put this head on. And then you are going to put the hard hat back on there. And then you get this very nice ghoulified dude. Um, everything else is the same. He also includes these kind of drill hands here, which are included uh, as accessories for his hands. Uh, the figure also uh, has a shovel included as another accessory there. Those are the accessories included in the figure. The beard uh, is not super rare, and neither is the head of this figure. The head is a hidden side face print that we have got before, so nothing very special there. And the beard is another element that we have gotten from hidden side, so also nothing very special. Alrighty then, let's take a look at the next fig. The next figure included in this set is Worker Nana. Um, this figure is another very nice work figure to get here for the construction elements of the set here. Um, a different torso design there. It's not a female-specific torso, which I, I do really like, but it is a very nice torso desi design to get for the figure. Same legs. Um, and something I noticed on the figures here, uh, you can see that they are actually a kind of light reactant on the stripes that would normally be light reactant and uh, show up for um, a normal work vest like this. And I think that's a really cool element. Uh, there's a kind of a B logo there on her shirt, which is probably a reference to an older Lego theme that I'm not picking up on. So if you guys know what that theme is, let me know in the comments below. If we swivel her around here, we'll see the rear torso printing has some very nice printing here. She has a, a walkie talkie. And a tool of some sort there. I can't tell what tool that is. 
if we uh, flip her around here and remove her hair piece, we'll get a better look at her head print there. Uh, which I don't know. I don't think it's exclusive to this minifigure. I do not know what figure it came on first. And this figure does have a rear uh, face expression there, just kind of a smirk. So that's nice to get. Alrighty then. Uh, to ghoulify her, all you're going to do is remove her head. And then you're going to uh, grab your ghoulified elements here, which for her are just these three things here. Um, so you're going to just put the uh, head here, which has also been included in other head inside sets, so it's nothing special. You just pop that on. And this hair, which once again is nothing special, has appeared in other head inside sets. And then she also includes a pickaxe accessory. Uh, the other accessory she comes with is a jackhammer accessory. So that's very nice. Alrighty then, let's take a look at the next fig. I'm going to do the next two figures at the same time, just because, you know, we've seen them before in previous hidden side sets. So they're nothing too special here. This is just a Jack and Parker in one of like their three outfit variants. Uh, they both have their printed phone here and their dual molded uh, hair hat or hat hood combo there. Both are great looking figs, um, and it's great to get more of those nice prints they have there, but they're just nothing special. You know, you get them in every inside set, so. But still very good figures to get. And uh, another uh, thing you get in this set is the uh, their ghost dog here. And uh, he's very nice to get, of course, in this set, too. So, But once again, he's nothing special, but he's very nice to get in the set. Alrighty then, let's take a look at the full set. This is the entire set, along with the ghoulified elements here uh, in its entirety. Uh, you also include a few uh, extra pieces in this set here, along with an, the extra... Um, uh, poop thing to shoot out of the porta potty there and a printed piece and just some good spare pieces um let's take a look at the uh just show you the instruction manual really quick here uh so this is a pretty thick instruction manual so um if you are a much younger builder maybe not experienced maybe uh not the instruction manual for you uh there is the code here for uh i think that's for like building online maybe i'm not positive or maybe it's like the app but that is a pretty thick uh, instruction booklet. Uh, let's take a look at the box here. Just for the fact that the boxes in this theme are um, uh, quite different than uh, most of the time. So uh, the box for this time uh, just kind of has the uh, big artwork on the front there of all the uh, kind of crazy stuff happening. And then it pans over to like the normal reality. Uh, here is the uh, set information again for anyone who's interested. Uh, so the box design is different than, you know, Lego. It's a hidden side box. But, uh, yeah. Alrighty then. Uh, time for the final verdict here. So this is a set from Wave 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 1 of Hidden Side there. I'm sorry, I stuttered. Um... And even though it's from the first wave of Hidden Side, I still think it's a really, really good set. Um, and I would definitely recommend picking this up, if, even for full price or on sale. Better on sale, but still for full price. Uh, this is a great set. Uh, it's super awesome. It's super playable, and it's super fun. Any little kid, any collector, any person who's a fan of Hidden Side is going to love this set. This is a great set, and I'm excited to put it in my city and excited to... Uh, just experiment more, maybe dink with it, play with it a little bit, and just kind of get more used to it, you know? Enjoy having it around. Um, a few little slight complaints about the set here. I'm not a huge fan of all the um, aqua colors they use. I get they use that kind of to symbolize, like, the ghost-busting equipment, but I wish they would have stuck with more of a kind of formula color scheme. Uh, 
I'm also, I do like how they are, you're able to remove the two things on the top there. That's very nice that they include that feature uh, because it is, if you're wanting to convert it over, it does make it a little easier. Uh, now about kind of converging this over to if you wanted to make it a normal school bus. Uh, when I first saw this set, I was kind of like, yeah, that'd be really easy to do. And then I saw the set in person and I go, yeah, that's not as easy as you might think. It's possible, but I think it's going to be a lot harder just for the fact that it, first of all, is on a slant. Most of the time school buses aren't on a slant. It's just little stuff like that. You're going to have to adjust kind of the wheel height, um, the tire size, how big the... Um, the wheels are normally, I'd say, just increase the wheel size, but that is almost touching, which doesn't affect player the set at all. But just for the fact that if you want to mod this yourself, it'd be very difficult to. Um, I also think that this set is is a very good set uh, for the fact that it has these little side builds. These little side builds are great. I'm super excited. I love getting the porta potty. I don't have any like Lego porta potties, and I'm super excited to get that. Um, and I think it is a really cool little side build, and I love how you can put it all together to build a monster for you to fight, which I think is very important in this set. Uh, I think the characters are great. The two workmen uh, are really awesome, the two workers, and the, uh, and the three kind of the main cast, and then the ghost dog there is really awesome. Um, yeah, that's, that's basically all the information I can give you on the set here, and I am a fan. I do recommend you pick this up for yourself or for a kid or a grandkid. Uh, this is a very good set, and I highly recommend it. Now on to the part where I discuss some uh, other news. Uh, with the recent news of Hidden Side uh, probably not getting any more waves after the uh, summer 2020 release wave, um, I am very saddened by that, and I think I am going to do a separate video on that. So um, just wanted to let you guys know, um, but... If you do find this set, pick it up now while you can. You don't want to go down the line 10 years and go, holy crap, I missed all those hidden side sets, you know? And then have to go pay double what you could find it for now, like on sale in stores. Um, so, yeah. But uh, this, this is a very good set, and I would recommend you pick it up. Great figs, great set, super fun, super playable. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will uh, see you in the next video. <laughs> Leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. See you in the next one. Studs out.